All 1057 Albany's new alternative. I'm Steve Richards. Happy to be joined by Max Kerman from the Arkells. The new album is your fifth studio album. It's called Rally Cry. Describe uh, Rally Cry. Oh, good question. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty um, outward looking record. I think, you know, a lot, a lot of the tunes are, you know, uh, talking about how, how we're connected to each other. Um, I, we had a great time making it. Uh, we, we really wanted to, to kind of hone in on, I think, the best parts of our band, which are, you know, you know sing along choruses and, and kind of like good groovy music, you know? Um, so yeah, we we're really happy with, with the way it turned out and also just being able to tour it. Like, you know, when you're in the studio, you're trying to make a great sounding record, but in the back of your mind, you're also thinking, okay, how is this going to work live? And, and we've had a great time playing the song live. Yeah. The new the album came out in October. The new single is hand me downs. What's hand me downs all about? Yeah. Hand me downs is about uh, reckoning w- with your family's history and, and where you come from. And I think, I think a lot of people have a lot of pride in where they come from, but also there's some, some dark corners where there's maybe some shame and, and just being okay with it because, you know, none, none of us chose to be here, but, but, uh, you know, being okay with, you know, decisions that you had nothing to do with, uh, and, uh, and learning from all that is is what the song is about. I read, you said that we always aspire to universal messages. What do you mean by that? Mm, I mean, I think I probably more meant to say is like as a songwriter, you you want to be able to write in a way that, you know, connects with somebody else's lived experience. Um, And I think the trick is in songwriting is like, can, can you tell a story um, that someone identifies with, but from a kind of a unique vantage point, so it feels new, or there's maybe you're you're shining a light on a corner of a situation that you, that doesn't necessarily get a lot of attention. Uh, and I and I think that's yeah, I think that's the trick with, with songwriting is, is you want people to feel it, but you also want to tell it in a new and interesting way. You guys have been together now what for twelve, thirteen years. You you first came together in about two thousand six from Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Uh, the band's name is based on a street name, right, in Hamilton? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we met in university, um, you know, we were 17 years old. And, you know, most bands don't last, you know, much longer than the first EP. So the fact that we can, you know, call this our job and we get to wake up every day thinking about, you know, what to do and what kind of creative projects to pursue uh, in the world of our Kells, uh, you know, we feel we feel really lucky for that. Yeah, what is that like being together with the same group of guys for what over a dozen years? Um, yeah, it's good. I mean, I think the more we do it, the better we uh, are able to work together. You know, we had we had a long uh, call today with with our team, and you know, we were working just through just like any other sort of workplace, uh, you know, issues. And and for us, it's, I think because we admire each other, and there's a, there's a mutual respect, and there's there's a real. Um, sort of ambition that, that lives with with all of us, uh, you know, to, to try new things and to improve ourselves, that, you know, we're able to keep the job interesting. I think I think the minute any job becomes stale is probably when you want to go. And so the fact that we've been able to, you know, to do it for as long as we have and, and we still wake up every day really eager to, 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 to work is, you know, I think a testament to, you know, just the people in the band. Max, can you remember uh, that first Canadian tour and the first U.S. tour and what it was like? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, early days. Like, uh, you know, you're sh- it's exciting, especially in the early days, because you're, you're playing a lot of cities that you've never been to before. And even if the shows are tiny, you know, it's, there's still an excitement there. Uh, and for us, it's like the, the MO for us has just always been like kind of brick by brick, growth you know we just hope that when we play any town that there's there's more people than the last time we were there that's kind of all we hope hope for and you know if you were to graph it out i think that's generally been the trajectory for our band and yeah we feel good about that you have a wide variety of influences um talk about the single relentless off of rally cry what's that song all about yeah so the, so that's kind of a, a good example of the band wanting to try new things uh it, it um the music uh, started with a with a South African song, and we used a sample of it, and then we built the rest of the song around it. And we'd never done that before, but you know, we're we're always really inspired by the way a lot of the hip hop dudes work and the way they can take other pieces of music and build something entirely new. And with Relentless, that's exactly what we did. And um, 
Yeah, no, it just kind of has a groove that that doesn't really exist in, in the rest of our music, and and it's, so it just felt really fresh to us, and we were happy that was, that was the first single. All right, we're going to wrap up with uh, five questions here for Max Kerman from the Arkells. Most embarrassing song on your iPod? Oh, I don't, I don't believe in embarrassing songs. If you like the song, you just like the song. You know, before the shows, we've been um, warming up to a lot of, like, late 90s R&B. Nice. Uh, so it's like, uh, you're dancing real close <laughs> and making it hot for me. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I love all different kinds of you know music and uh, I have no shame in any of it. <laughs> First concert you attended? I think it was Weird Al, to be honest. <laughs> Do you have a phobia? Do I have a phobia? Uh, yeah, I don't like turbulence on flights. And I think yeah, I don't like flying a ton. I fly a lot, but yeah, not fun. Like, no. I don't like flights. What's the craziest thing a fan has ever done for you? What's the craziest thing a fan has ever done? I mean, we, there's a lot of fans out there that have Arkell's related tattoos, and that is kind of crazy to me because uh, I don't personally have any tattoos. <laughs> and it, and often they ask me to write out one of our lyrics, and then they literally get it tattooed on their body. And uh, I don't encourage it. I am very sad, but to me, that's something. <laughs> and the very first album you bought? Very first, I mean, I listen to all my dad's records, but the first album I might have been Jay Z Life and Times of Sean Carter Volume Two, nineteen ninety six. Nice. Max okay. Kerman from the Arkells. The new album is Rally Cry their fifth. They're in town tomorrow night for a sold out show at the Hollow Barn Kitchen. We are looking forward to that. Max Kerman from the Arkells. And this is Alt 1057 Albany's new alternative.